Welcome back to the Bumper Breakfast. Coming up next is Hard Conversations. And we're talking about Nigerians and uh, Nigerians, pardon me, and uh, superstitious beliefs. Uh, Dr. Mm. Precious, how about it? <laughs> Interesting. I know, you know. Want, I know you want to break tables, but don't worry, when they're coming for you, I would, I'll pity you. I'll give you shelter. Yeah, please do. Please do. You know, I was just um, thinking about um, two weeks ago when I shared this with you, and I said I think we need to visit them mm -hmm. and um, juxtapose or distinguish between the ones that are relevant and the ones that are not. Mm -hmm. So I'll be going over a couple of them because uh, we are becoming a superstitious community. Country. Um, <clears throat> in a nutshell mm -hmm. number one if you remove your eyelid and put it at the center of your head no matter the evil you have done your parents will forget to beat you like and then you put it in the like center. oh like okay your, that's not your eyelid your eyelash yeah your eyelash and then you put it how you put it in the center Who's the you pull in? one and put it in the center no matter the evil you've done, your parents will forget. They will beat nonsense out of your life. Have you well, tried it before? We heard that. Okay, you want to hear the story behind yeah. it? Mm -hmm. So when I was young, I did it. And uh, I was I hopeful that my dad would forget. I knew your father. When he came back. He did not forget. <laughs> he came with Pankere. No, he came with the remembrance. <laughs> he came with the memory. Fresh. As fresh as ever. Number two, if a lizard runs through your leg as a female, you're about to get pregnant. Have mm -hmm. you heard that before? Mm -hmm. You're just maybe doing something or you're seated and the lizard just runs to your leg. your leg. Like ah. through your leg, you're about to get pregnant. Ah. You're a lady. Okay. Number three, when you are pregnant, anyone that walks across your leg, you would, your, your baby, baby will look, will like, look that like that person. person. You've heard that before? Yeah. A lot. Is it true? It's not many people with your baby who look like now. It means your baby will be confused. Well. Because if it's true, the moment you put your leg out and one person walks past, almost on a daily basis, people try to walk past you, walk over your leg now. So what happens? Your baby will be a very confused baby. At the end of the day, your baby will have the semblance of this person, this person. So what will be left for your family? Your husband? No, no, no resemblance. Even you? None. So it's not true. I agree with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have reservations. Like, I have reservations, but I agree with you. It's mm -hmm. fine. Number four. But I think we misinterpreted that. I think that's the problem. I think the mean walk across your leg should have been like anybody that comes over you. I think that's what they're trying to say. Mm -hmm. I think they're trying to say the person you sleep with is the person your child will look, look like. Right. And Yorubas have a proverb like that. I think something like that. Mm -hmm. This is really important, I say. Superstitious belief or hard belief or practice uh, beliefs which may appear to be rational, okay? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Like this one you just said, crossing yes, the legs. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, they, may not, they may not be the true knowledge of the things, but we have come to believe them over, in, a, long period over of a long period of time. Number four, when you see white birds in the sky, you shake your fingers and say things like, Licky, 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 and then you look at your nails to see if they are now white. <laughs> Tommy, see who did this to us? I think I borrowed the word. Who take and do us? Who take and do us? So how did we get here? Number five. <laughs> Stop this. Number five. A pregnant woman must attach safety pins to her clothes ah. to protect the child. Do you want the child? So that when the witches are coming if to touch the child, will not, uh, no, no, no. The pin will be pitching her. Okay, to be printed. I thought because it's safety pin, so the child will be safe. A lot of things are. You need to on. ask mommy again why. It is Your one of the evil spirits now. We need to bring mommy on this show one of these days and listen to her. No, Number but really, six. that's what they tell us. No, when I was pregnant, uh, if someone was going, I must be like, ah, mommy, she's going to kill me for this. She's like, eh? And you know, when you're pregnant and you're really, really big. The idea of wearing one thing underneath your cloth. Oh, see, most times when you wear your caftan, you just wear it from head to toe like that. There's nothing on that. <laughs> and then my mommy comes around and tells me, who's empty pin? Wear that. There's nothing on that. Now. So, what am I putting it on? You put it on the gown. No, you put it on the gown. So, you put it. so 
Some women actually put it on top of the gown. On the gown, like yeah, because there's not, that's what I'm telling you why. Because there's nothing under the gown. Okay. It's so you, the, the so anytime I see a woman with the pin on top, I should just know that the reason why she has it on top is simply because you know pregnancy makes a lot of people feel so it feels so uncomfortable sometimes. Your heart, your 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 um, you know, having a lot of heat on your body, and then the next thing that happens to you is. You want to just open the cloth, you know? To be free. To be free. So there's nothing under the cloth. I'm nothing. Let's go on, tell me mm -hmm. Number six, women that their children always fall sick or maybe die, they say this is as a result of the familiar spirit through their ancestors or a witch existing in the family. Hmm. So a child hmm. is suffering from a natural outbreak and then they tame it to be the spiritual involvement of something. Number seven, it is wrong to play with umbrella when it is not raining. A person who plays with the umbrella when it's not raining is inviting heavy rainfall on his or her wedding day. Ha. Have you heard that one? No, but that's for my one. On my birthday every year, rainfalls. So that means you were playing with umbrella those days when we... That means I was playing with umbrella and then back. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday every year, rainfalls. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't understand. Okay, so number eight says do not whistle at night. When you whistle at night, you are simply calling on snakes and other reptiles into your house. Mm. Mm. Is that true? Mm. I don't think so. When you don't live near the bush, where did you, you, don't they come from? you know, even if you don't live near the bush, have you have you ever imagined if people in Nigeria they see snakes? Don't they can see is rats? Mm. Even people in um, Ogba. I likely not to see or Ikeja. Yeah, likely not to ever see snakes. Yeah, true, because of the environment. It's the congested, you know, it's congested. Oh, congested environment. It's only when you live in Mowe. <laughs> close to the bush, right? Not just close to, close to the river. To those in yeah. the Sherry, those around the way, yes, 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 yes. Okay, now listen to this number ah, nine. Ah, those in Lekki, they'll be seeing snakes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, they will. Mm -hmm. Number nine, pregnant women shouldn't walk under the sun as believed by nigerians when a pregnant woman walks under the sun especially around 1 pm it's called this one she gives birth to a disfigured child mm -hmm. ah. okay you see there's another one though the one of the reasons why they don't tell pregnant women to also walk on them. they believe that the evil spirits are also in the sun oh they are in the sun that they are around at that point in time so when you have oh man let me tell you one thing that happened to me when i was pregnant with my son i went to aswani market and as i was um, i think that afternoon i was there for a while and then uh, this um Agbibu guy in the market he kept seeing me moving up and down distributing stuff so the guy had to come to me at the point said auntie hello joko i go and sit down i will get boys for you who will take this thing for you and help you distribute it in the market and i was like but it's my job but it was like mm -mm 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 -mm. You are pregnant and you're heavy. You're not meant to be moving around in the sun. Ah, eh, Mojuto wa around now is a market. Oju olorisho, oju orishi, orisho, oju. You know, you were saying that different kinds of eyes, ah, different kinds of mindset, people's beliefs, and all that. Mm. But I must sit down. This guy insisted. He blocked the way. He That's stopped me guy. from moving around. I knew he was being caring, but I just didn't get it. But I understood again that we're in Africa, we're in Nigeria, and then we're in the balance. That's the kind of thing white money would do. What? Your mighty money. What about black money? Ish. Team white money all the way. Okay, number 10. Don't beat a male child with a broom, else you render him impotent. Aha! <laughs> I need to ask our mothers this one. One of them is sitting there. Is it true? If you beat a male child with a so broom, say, that he will become impotent. Is so it true? Say, one of my aunts used a broom on me. Um, and you know how <laughs> God has blessed me. I'm just wondering. So you're saying that you, how many children do you have now? Like uh, five? You know I'm the brother to two face Dibia. So you have like <laughs> so I'm just one at what point did she beat you? Before you started having kids or after? It can we, can we do way. this conversation off camera? No, or you want to on. answer the question? No, no, but I'm, I'm, Corruption no. fights back. No, 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 but I'm just Corruption asking. Corruption fights back. I'm just wondering. So Somebody beats a child with broom when the child was like between ten and twelve. The child grows up into an adult has five kids at 40. Mm -hmm. Which part of him is impotent? 
If you were not impotent, will he have then? <laughs> no, no, there's a question. I'm just asking you. Because we need to go and visit your auntie again. Okay, let's leave that. Number 11. It is bad to drink coconut water. Now, this one they told us. And we had coconut mm -hmm. tree in our compound. They say it's bad to drink coconut water because it makes you dull. Huh. And when they were drinking water, we would stay back. Because <laughs> we don't want to be dull. Now I know it was all a lie. Do you know it is the water they used to cook? Coconut rice. Coconut rice. I'm telling you. Oh my God, you were missing. <laughs> you know how many who, coconut who, water no, I no, said no to? No, no, but who told you? The older cousins. Yes, now. Uh -huh. And family members. Uh -huh. That's why now. When you're growing older, who are you cheating? You cheat the children that are coming behind you. They were just cheating you. Don't worry. You're still superstitious. Baby. Number 12, do not look at the mirror at night. According to the Nigerian belief, if you look at the mirror at night, instead of seeing your reflection, you could see a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I can count how many times I've woken up. You know, I have a mirror on my on my wardrobe. Um, okay. Do I just... Okay get up and look so the first thing you do is to look at the mirror and, and i don't see any ghosts <laughs> you don't see ghosts no, maybe i no, no. see do one. you drive at night yes most of the times do you look into the mirror in your car i do <laughs> what about the world beside me i do uh, so do you see ghosts uh, on the car behind you <laughs> oh my and you see the interesting part of this conversation is the fact that there are loads and loads of nigerians who believe all of the superstitious belief so they're say, not in the villages so. They are in cities like Lagos, Wari, Port And Harcourt, they carry it so jelly. Listen and to they the carry it so jelly. They are like... Thomas, listen to the next one to shock you. A piece of thread can magically stop hiccup in the head of a baby. So maybe the baby is having hiccup. Okay. There's this one. Baby. <laughs> when a baby when, when, when a baby is um, hiccuping or coughing, they carry the head of the baby. The baby. You carry the baby like this. Now they get there. No air on the center of the baby's head. I'm just wondering, you know what I used to think when I was younger? I used to think, as a child, I used to think that there is a gap in the baby's Where head. Where the air enters from, mommy? I used to, so, oh my god, my mom is going to kill me. <laughs> so, so, your mom is, is guilty of all this? <laughs> no, no, at least this one I'm going to talk about. So, mom, she will not tell you the reason why she's blowing the head of the baby at that point. At that point. She will put your hand there. She said, Can you see the baby's head is breathing? That, that there's gap there. That the older the baby gets, the more the baby's head closes. Close. You're, you're a doctor, is it true? It's nothing like that. <laughs> it's just that the head is fragile at that time. At that time. The baby's more fragile. Oh my God. But you see, so, so we'll um, be deceiving ourselves. a right? lot of things, they be, like when they now bath the baby, they turn the baby upside down, they carry the leg and start shaking. You know, they can actually fracture the baby. Are you kidding me? I'm telling you. Do you know how they they wash me? This? That was how they, they did fracture oh me. Oh my They goodness. also washed you like that as a I child. Know I was there. Uh -huh. I remember. But you know my biggest um, theory when I was small? I used to think, where do they give back to babies from? That was my first critical thinking. Do babies come do out of the mouth? Do you know or do that? Or they tear the stomach? Hold on. Do you know that babies, do you know they're so brittle? And I take that word very seriously. They're so brittle that if you're not really careful, the baby can get fractured like you said. Yeah. One of my little cousins, while she was like about two, less than two years old, my uncle used to do that a lot, you know, carry, throw you up, shake your leg like this. Do you know her arm came out and her leg came out? See what I'm saying? No, so even when she was you less do, than two years you old. See, uh, the arm, the arm actually came our out. Our mothers, the our mothers, mm -hmm. the ones who are really grilled in that thing, they know how to do it. They know how to do yeah. it. Is, there's a technique. Our mothers have skills. There's skill. a technique. You see, skill. I saw something. Our when grandmothers I, have skills. See, babe, when I was in East Africa, in mm -hmm. Kenya, I discovered, I saw a couple of women bathing the baby in the hospital. And I see them, they put the baby in the bath water. Mm -hmm. And they, they clean up the baby inside the same water. Mm -hmm. And they use the same water to rinse the baby. Mm -hmm. So I had to start telling them, no, you get in the, the bath water. And then, then take that the water baby. to rinse the baby. The ba you don't wash the baby in the same water and, and the rinse the water. baby in that same water. So you then put the, the baby in a towel. It doesn't make sense. You clean the baby over running water. Like mm. I had to do that continuously. And they keep telling me, Doctor, that's not our, our culture. Thoughts. This is our culture. We but need to run. go on hard conversations. Ah, part no. two. No, we oh. have so many. Okay. We need to go on hard conversations. Dr. Precious likes superstition. Ah. We love superstition. The remaining, there will be the a remaining part two. ten are too hot <laughs> to worry. leave behind. Part two. Part two. Ah.
play to enjoy small small okay, things. Okay. We'll be back on the bumper breakfast and we have a little bit of commercial for you this morning just before we bring Sonia. We'll be back.